All right, so today we're gonna talk about how to do our sunset paintings with our watercolor paints that we have. And for my design, I really didn't spend much time because it's just a demo video, but your silhouette, whatever you decide to draw is going to be completely black. And then whether you have a sun or you're not going to do a sun, it's still the same technique. If you can see on the table, I wrote the pattern of the colors that you want to do. If you look at the clock on the wall, it has the same um, pattern. You just follow color order. So we start with blue because the sky color is blue. And then with a the sunset, it's just going to change like the color wheel. So from blue, you go to purple, then you want to transition to pink, then orange. Around the sun is going to be a yellow orange, but you want your sun to be bright yellow if you did the sun. If you're not going to do a sun at the very edge of your sunset, then you will start with yellow, yellow orange to orange. Sometimes when you're painting, you might not get to the purple or the blue. Maybe your sunset's going to be yellow to yellow orange to orange to pink and then maybe it's gonna stop at pink and that's okay too. But I think the more colors you can do, the better. If you wanna practice, we did the name painting, but it might be a good idea to practice the, the color pattern because once you've done your final draft, you don't wanna mess this up when you start painting. So I would practice it once and then do your final draft. What I'm gonna do first, especially if you're doing the sun, you're going to want to paint the sun and then dry it. So I'm gonna paint the sun, I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna go blow dry it, so that way my sun is dry because if I put yellow here and then put yellow orange here, it's all gonna to blend together. So I want this to dry first. So always add paint. I'm going to be very careful when I'm doing the sun because I do not want that yellow to go outside the line of the sun. You'll notice that my sun is done with pencil. I went down a little bit into the black. That's not gonna matter because the paint's not gonna show up there. And if I need more water on the edge, I can go back and do that. So I'm gonna get some yellow. I do want vibrant colors. If you did a sun, you can outline the sun with a Sharpie pen if you want, or you can just leave a pencil. If you have just a pencil line like I did, erase that line as much as possible. Now I'm gonna pause the video and I'm going to blow dry the painting so that way it doesn't mix colors. The next step, you're gonna to want to cover your background with water and try to do that very quickly so it doesn't dry. All right, so I have been really careful around the sun. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more water down because I wanna do I um, want to make sure that it's going to blend. So I'm going to start with the yellow-orange color right by the sun. The sun is yellow. The yellow-orange color is right here on our palette. So make sure we're getting the right one, not the yellow one. And I'm trying to work quickly. If it dries, what you're going to want to do is just add more water to your paint. And you want to be careful on the edge not to get that yellow orange onto the sun. So that sun needs to be dry. Make sure that this is a vivid color. You do not want pastel colors. Once you get around the sun done, you can go a lot faster but you wanna take your time. I have a small to medium brush to go around the sun and then I have a bigger brush 
to do my other colors. I'm gonna take that yellow orange up a little ways. I'm probably gonna need to add a little bit more water right where the yellow orange is. So that way everything blends really nicely. Remember, you wanna keep everything wet on your paper so it blends. Okay, so from yellow orange, I need the regular orange. So that's gonna be this color. Remember, each time you change colors, you're gonna to want to rinse your brush off really good blend it. I'm going to take my little brush to help blend. Okay, I'm going to rinse off that orange and then change to my pink color. your little brush to kind of help blend. I think I'm going to grab a little bit more orange to put in that pink right there. Okay, now I'm going to go to my purples. If a small brush helps you, you can use whatever size you want. I kind of switched to a small brush because it's easier to control, but the big brush works too. Okay, grab some pink and pull that up to the purple. And then add blue and then you're done. Now skies are typically a light blue, so you wanna try not to get super dark on the blue when you add the blue in. Someone has green in this blue, so I'm gonna have to dab it. I do not want a teal sky. Actually, this is more of a blue. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, I'm gonna lay the more water down just to make sure it's not drying on me. I'm gonna try to keep that blue light because I do not want it to look too dark. Just like this guy. All right, so this is how you're gonna paint your sunsets. 